How's it going guys? Welcome back to another episode of Preparing for God Wars 3. So in the last episode we ended um, talking about how basically how bad I am at Telos at the moment. I'm trying to learn the new rotation in phase 4 and it's definitely something that is taking a lot of practice for me. So today we'll be taking another crack at that at some point and also we wanted to make sure that we got something from uh, Raksha as well at some point so we'll be doing a lot of Raksha too. We have a lot of stuff that we need to upgrade still. We have still so so much that I want done before God Wars 3 is released. So we have a lot to get prepared for even though God Wars 3 isn't meant to be this high level PVM I just want my account to be ready for release day no matter what they throw at us So I want to make sure I've got all tier 92s for at least two combat styles except not the ECB maybe And then also just make sure that we've got all any, any unlocks and all that sort of good stuff ready for when they do release it But anyway, if you enjoy the video make sure to leave a like on the video You know where the button is and also do subscribe if you are new but that being said, we're going to start off today with some Solak, as I have been trying to do a lot better at that, and I'm still trying to get the one cycle down. So, time to do some Solak, see if we get anything good from there. Hopefully, we can get one of those crossbows. So I'm still really, really enjoying Solak. It's such a fun boss to do. I still need to put quite a lot more practice in to make sure I am not messing up at all throughout the whole fight. But I'll get there and I'll make sure that we do improve. And eventually, I do want to be able to tank this boss. And I'd like to be able to take people there to learn and make plenty of money. And just introduce people into this boss because it is so, so good. The loot from here so far has been absolutely awesome. This hour alone that you are watching now, I actually got so many pages. It was kind of funny because no one and myself actually got pages almost every single kill. However, Cybron didn't get a single page the whole hour. So, you know, blame Cybron and all that. Anyway, we haven't actually managed to get a good drop from here just yet, as in no rares or anything like that. But they will come. I need to put some more time in and definitely do some more Solak. So next episode, there should be a lot more Solak. At least I hope so. Moving on to Raksha now. I did say in the last episode that I wanted to make sure I do get something from Raksha. Literally anything. Doesn't have to be the Gricko. Doesn't have to be a greater chain or a codex of any kind. Just any drop from this boss that I can show you guys. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to make sure that we stay here for as long as we can just to get anything. Be it boots, be it literally anything at all. Of course, a Gricko would be absolutely amazing. But any time spent here is all good as I need to improve my times at this boss. I need to get a lot more consistent. So at least all the extra time spent here may give us that. That's the um, the best way to deal with that mechanic. <laughs> Just debilitate and stand there. Well, I was unsure whether death swifting there was a good idea or not, but considering it was free, I think it was. You want to use Hydrix when doing uh, using Rico? Yeah, fair enough. But even then, um, at this point now, I just don't, I don't really fancy switching through uh, Raksha. I think he's I think he's um, got enough stuff to switch for at this point for me. <laughs> Thought that was going to hit me, to be honest. The guy looked like he just wasn't wanting to move. All right, first Raksha kill. We splashed. <laughs> okay. There we go. First Raksha kill. 722k. That's not a Gricko. What the hell? Is there any point in even doing this, boss? Ah, oh, rip. Ah, oh, rip. Ah. Oh, the little start of rapid fire just proper screws you over. Uh oh. <laughs> that was close. Ah, oh, we might be dead. I was meant to um, use Anticipate then, but I pressed Freedom instead. That's what I get for saying I'll do another solo. Tax? 
Insomnia, are you an ambassador now? I think it's time to change change it up a little bit. <laughs> okay, let's go. Right. Chax, you're ready? Insomnia, you're ready? Yeah? Okay. So, let's go. Good luck. Oh, well, that's sad. <laughs> Did any of you guys get something, though? No? Well, that was worth it. Ready? That's not a Greco. What the frick? Game might be broken, guys. Well, we did quite a lot of Rapture, and honestly, it really didn't go that well. I actually seemed to just do incredibly terrible kills and die quite a lot, but the practice was there, and to be honest, it was okay in the end of it. So now my kills are a lot more consistent, and I can definitely say that after all of these kills, I am definitely better at this boss. However, we didn't get a single drop while we were here, a, a good drop, a rare drop. We still definitely made quite a bit of money with all the normal drops, so we'll sell those off later on. But I think it's time for a break. It's time to probably head to Telos now. And we really need to try and get this rotation down for phase four because it's taken a long time to do and I'm running into so many issues and I just can't seem to do it. So let's give that a quick attempt and see if we can get anything out of it. And if not, we'll move on to the next thing. But this always screws up because I don't have mobile. No, the back one always walks every time. Am I dead here? Might be dead. Oh, no, we're good. Well, <laughs> there we go. So as you can see, I understand how the rotation works and I know it's step by step. It's just implementing it. And also with the gear that I've got at the moment, I seem to splash quite a lot. Even though I'm on Maniacal, I use the Guthrie staff, um, I still seem to splash quite a bit. Obviously the Enrage that you just watched was fairly low as I started a new streak on stream, but I figured I would try and practice the rotation throughout P4 as I did the streak. But I've decided what I'm going to do is wait until I can get an upgrade on upgrading my um, wand and orb into tier 92 and then maybe even eventually try and get something like a hammer and an essence of finality just to make sure that I don't splash. It seems like at the point that I'm at now, the only issue I'm getting is if I splash any of the first stuns or any of the stuns to be fair, the whole phase is just ruined. I'm pretty sure there's probably ways to deal with splashes, but of course with the amount of practice I have at the moment, all I know is the actual rotation. And when that goes wrong, <laughs> it's pretty much gone. It's pretty much dumb. But we'll keep practicing this. I'm not going to show too much more of this because up until now, I've not done it successfully consistently yet. But you guys know that I am still doing this. I will get this down and I will get pushing on Telos as soon as we have this done. So in a previous episode, I attempted to get Biting 4 and Mobile. We went through quite a lot of perks, actually, and in all honesty, my luck with perks just is just not there. It was really, really bad. Now, we did a staking video recently, and we actually won that. We went from 20 mil up to over 200 mil. It was really, really, really good, and I can't complain about that. So what we did is we spent some of that money on a Noxious Longbow, and you can see me leveling that up right now. And the reason being is we are going to get our Biting 4, I hope. Because if we don't, if we end up getting Biting 3 again or something like that, last time we got three Biting 3s and uh, it just wasn't good. So hopefully we can get that. I am missing the mobile perk a lot and it will help me out in a lot of places. So let's see if we can get that sorted, shall we? 
We've got one thing that we're doing. I hope we can do it. We have another noxious longbow. <laughs> so we're going to disassemble this. And we're going to get our perks. And we're going to just quickly go and make an armor, armor gizmo. <laughs> Finally, we're going to get our biting four mobile perk. Because we want it. We miss it so much. Okay, we ready? In before only mobile perk. Is that even possible? Right, that's correct. I'm just going to double check, triple check. We are on... Right. Frick it. Let's go. Hey, first try. There we go. Perfect. And now I want to do it again because... I need it for my magic gear as well, so... Okay, you ready? Oh, what is that? Don't like that. Yes, there we go. There we go. We got two of them. Finally, finally we did it. We've got three biting fours. I don't know if that other thing's any any good. Waza says it's not bad. So we got our biting four, and while we're on a roll, you guys on stream actually convinced me that I really, really should get my defender sorted out. I do not have a reprisal yet for range, and I'm just using the same shield everywhere. So you guys said that I should get a reprisal, and that is exactly what we did. So much happened in this episode, actually. Our account has come a long way so far. I haven't done Barrows since pre-EOC, I think, and honestly, it was incredible nostalgia. It was, it was, it was brilliant. Loved it. Then we went and got our ancient emblem from Nex, and we made ourselves our reprisal. We're not going to bother using the the next one, the tier 91, just yet, as I don't want to throw an ascension crossbow into that. For now, this will do, and yeah, it's actually really good. I'm quite enjoying having this. So with all the upgrades, I basically just decided, you know what, we just need money. We just, all we need now is just money to buy our stuff for our magic gear for Telos. So we came back to Raksha in hopes of, you know, just gaining anything. Another Shadow Spike that we got would be absolutely great. Another Codex of any kind would be absolutely awesome. Of course, the Gricko would be like the best ideal thing, but I can't expect to get that. My kill count is only fairly low, like 100 or something like that. But we did come back and it was on stream. So here's what happened during that stream. One big dinosaur, give him a drop. I'm not gonna lie, I'm tempted to do another um, two hours and steak video here. Just to see what happens, because I've got a feeling if I did, that'd get me my ricochet. But at the same time, I'd be kind of sad to have to stake that. Lose my ricochet. <laughs> exactly. Part of me is terrified to do it, part of me really wants to do it. I'd stake it as well. Like, if I got one, I'd definitely do it. What am I going to use double experience on? Um, so I'm... Um, wait, ring! <gasps> we got it! Holy crap! Yes, guys! What? That is what we want to see. My luck here is unreal. Absolutely unreal. Look at that. Holy hell. Well, I don't even know what to think now. Um, Rick, there we go. I am not, I'm not staking it. <laughs> it's not, I'm not staking this. This isn't two hours in steak. Right. First things first, Im most important thing is this. So I always, oh, thanks for the prime sub, dude. Appreciate that. I, I've always um, wound general up about his, uh, his drop rate. It, Raksha. So I've just sent him the screenshot of that just to make sure he knows. I can't believe it. So with that huge, absolute amazing drop, everything has changed. So now what I did is went and bought myself some nice tier 92 wand and orb weapons because I've wanted them for so long and I really want to get my magic gear in the best position possible, ready for God Wars 3, because I still think that magic is going to get buffed during God Wars 3 and I want to pay the lower prices now rather than when they jump up, if they do. I could be wrong, but that's what I think is going to happen. Also, these are going to help with the accuracy at Telos, so I may splash a little bit less. Not only that, these look absolutely amazing, so gotta love that much as well. I included that little bit with General's kill count and stuff because I got this at 119 and I've had five codexes. To this day, he's probably at about over 800 kills now and still hasn't had a single codex drop once. He's had eight laceration boots though, so I just think it's kind of funny. It just, it's just nice to wind him up about it. But with that fun out of the way, let's see what else we spent the money on, shall we? I figured I would probably just record this bit as a, uh, you know, like a live talk over thing just for you guys as it seems like it's probably going to be the easiest way to do it and also I'll probably just make this my outro as well. So 
since getting the Greater Ricochet, I've bought myself a Wonder of the Prietal and the Imperium Core. This is going to help a lot at Tellos, hopefully. The accuracy that you get extra will be kind of nice. It's not a huge buff, but it will probably help out a little bit. And eventually, I do want to get a Statius Warhammer in an Essence of Finality as well. But we're not quite there just yet. We still only have 253 mil. I bought myself a large room pouch just because I wanted to put heal other in there as I'm helping my partner learn Carfight King. So being able to heal her while we are there <laughs> definitely helps out. But they're like nearly 30 mil now. So that's absolutely crazy. I bought myself the abilities, the Limitless one and the Ingenuity of the Humans. Now there's a reason I bought the Ingenuity of the Humans and I can't believe... <sighs> okay, so basically here I have an Essence of Finality with Crystal Rain, which is the Seren God Bow. This is the special attack from the Seren God Bow. So we have a Seren God Bow in there. Now you might be thinking, how the hell did one Greater Ricochet afford you a Seren God Bow, two tier 92 weapons, and all these these abilities? It didn't. So, 888 winner is someone who is absolutely incredible at Telos. Um, he basically just offered to give me <laughs> a Seren God Bow. So he's gifted me that. I have put it in the Essence of Finality so we can use that. It's going to help us push it Telos on phase five. It's going to help us with everything. Basically, Raksha is going to be great there. It's just such a great spec to use, and I'm absolutely loving using it. So you guys will see this in the future. You'll be able to see it in the next episode. So do stick around for that. And AAA winner, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. You are an absolute legend. That's going to be it from me today, guys. I really appreciate you all watching. Hell of an episode. There's so much progress made. Finally, we've had that like big break where we've got so much done all in one episode. And of course, it has been pretty much doubled by uh, the kindness of him. So I really appreciate that again. That's, like I said, going to be the end of the video. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like on it. If you enjoyed and you are new, then do subscribe. And I will see you all in the next one. See you later, guys. Bye. I just wanted to say a huge thank you to all of my current channel members. We have Kez Logger, it's OP Harambe, Jax, Maka, Sam, and Andy V. Thank you all so, so much. I really appreciate it. If anyone else is interested in this, there's a join button, buy the sub button, give that a click, and you can see what perks you do get while you do support the channel as well.